Cool, cool. Right, let's start again, Cody, from the top. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to the first ever episode of the Hamster Feed podcast. This podcast will be running on our secondary channel, the Hamster Cage. Um, our primary channel is Bio Hamster. Make sure you check that out. Um, continuing forward, we have four people here with us today that you have me, Cody. We have seven. Hey, hey, hey. We have Joseph. Hello. And we have Bob. It's me, Bob. Um, so, yeah, we'll just um, get right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, guys. So, we were, go- we were just talking before we had that, uh, we talked about the Gillette ad. Uh, I haven't seen that. You yet. haven't seen it yet? What's it about? So, uh, going, you, we were just talking before, Joseph, about uh, toxic masculinity. Oh, beautiful. Um, so, <laughs> what <laughs> what the Gillette ad basically was, it's, you know, obviously Gillette's the razor company. They, yeah, yeah. You know, they're obviously, their target audience is men who shave. So, men primarily. Men. I think they just, right. I don't know if Disgusting. they've seen our product. But um, pretty much their ad campaign is one of those, you know, uh, don't rape campaigns. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, um, okay. it's quite a shocking campaign. <laughs> What was it? It showed thought, like yeah. chi- little boys pushing over little girls or something, and you know a lineup of barbecue dads saying, "Oh, boys will be boys," where and does, you're meant to um have moral revelations or something. Where does uh, razors come into this? Like, um, so uh, yes, Bob, you are completely correct, <laughs> and um, <laughs> on that, <laughs> so it's such it's such a weird thing because I can understand the message they're trying to get across. I think it's dumb to do it in advertising. And I think it's a very dumb yeah. message, but you can understand why you'd want to do that, considering you know. Right. Where so the message is pressure. the message is like not buy our products. It's it's don't, don't be an asshole. Yeah, that's essentially. But the then message. it still okay. says, "Hey, Gillette, too, right, guys?" Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. It's, it's it's weird though because they sort of, if anything, it's you know meant to, you know, sort of hate men almost in a way. I know that's that term's thrown right. around a lot more, yeah. but it's sort of you know. It's not really making. It's not a positive message that men will think, "Oh, yay," sort of thing. So, oh boy, so it's sort of odd that it's that they're targeting men mm. with their products, but still, they make you know women products too, right? Do Gillette make any female products? Uh, I think they do. Yes, do they, they make do. women they do? razors. Sure? Okay. Yeah, they yeah. make they make pretty pink razors because you know, sexualizing colors is no. okay. They're going. <laughs> It, they obviously don't care. They do it for the money, and that's where the money is right now. You know these uh, groups like Vox and BuzzFeed that will pressure any company into, um, you know, siding with them, or they'll call them a Nazi. Mm. Like, did you hear what happened uh, recently as well with uh, Linux? The Linux had to, you know, the operating system, yeah. the, you know, all the stuff that servers and shit run on that don't want to pay for Windows because you know Linux works fine, which is obviously a free software operating system. Um, what happened was um, what Linux up- updated their terms of service to like get rid of like say ban ban on hate speech or something like mm. that. But what happened is some of the developers, you know, weren't quite happy with some of the rules. I can't recall all the rules off the top of my head, but they said if this goes through, they're threatening to pull their stuff out of Linux. Which, in the like terms of in like the agreement you made, you can the way Linux is very um. You yeah, know, I don't know open too source. much about Linux. Yeah, it's like open source, so you can take out any of your con- yeah, contributions yeah. after that. It's it never belongs to Linux; it's always belonging to you. So, like, if they were to take it out, long story short, that's going to crash lots of servers <laughs> and stuff across the board because you know these a, a lot of new sources, yeah, yeah, were pressuring them to do that, and that's I don't know. I don't know an awful lot about it, but it's hmm. yeah, something that I think would have big ramifications if it actually goes through. And I think everyone will know about it. Soon. Right, but going back to the whole Gillette, like yeah. just the company Coined. thing, right? Um, so I've, I haven't heard about that ad specifically, but I have heard how they're um marketing the female razors to be more expensive than the male razors. I mean, I don't really that, that they're more expensive to make what? though, and 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 why? I mean, are they just the same? They're just razors. They shave heads. Yeah, no, they're not deliberately making them more expensive. It just I forget why, but. What it, some products that females want and buy more of. Is it just you know, a it's color? more expensive like, I, to I, make. And, th- and then people are saying, oh, you know, that's sexist, making women pay more for a product. It just costs more to make. There's cheaper variants. But, I mean, but can't the women just go for the, like, male razors? I uh, mean, <laughs> no, they want the pink and they want it at the same price, even though it's more <laughs> expensive to make, Bob. I mean, I don't really see, like, someone going to the bath, going into the bathroom and, like, fussing over the color of I think I can't shave like, unless my razor's blue. <laughs> yeah. Just... 
I'm Just pretty sure the like razor itself has something with it. I'm pretty sure like the blade has like a it's softer cut for, or something. Yeah, like some, it. Some, some, something like that. It it, it it costs more to make, yeah. but it, that but obviously by extension it costs more. So true, true. Yeah, the women razors are made for fairer skin because you know women, women have fairer, fairer skin. skin. Have you ever they shaved do. and you know you get the cuts on your face that tends not to happen? I believe with female razors. Yeah, but okay. I don't have experience with female oh, razors oh, because oh, I don't yeah. shave my legs. <laughs> I mean, none of Gillette's sales have actually tanked after the ad, ad even though everyone thought they would. Hmm. That's I interesting. feel like they wouldn't have. What about their gone stocks down, and like, stuff? I, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't seem to have dropped very much at all. I feel like everyone kind of still needs razors, though. Yeah. <laughs> like no one's gonna yeah. be like, "Ew, no Gillette anymore," but they're still like, "I still need to shave." There's so. still like Schick and stuff, isn't there? There's I use Schick Hydro. I, I I personally used I I. I do use Gillette. <laughs> oh no! Okay, it's, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, you know, um, ostracize you. I, I don't. I don't really care either way too much. But <laughs> no, I, I kind of hate Gillette right now, just because. <laughs> of this. No, it's it's not the whole ad it's or dirty anything. Gillette. It's it's just this one problem I had. I think yesterday <laughs> it was right. So I was opening up a new box of razors because, like the oh, the. One I was using was getting blunt, right? So, you know, it, it was a fairly big box. I opened it up. There were two razors in there. <laughs> the, the box was at least, what? Ten, was it a blank box? Ten, ten centimeters long. No, it came with, um, you know, those plastic uh, sleeves the razors are sli- yeah, slotted yeah. into? Yeah, yeah. Right. There were like three empty ones. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I got. Like, yeah. I, 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 hate, got a... no, I hate it so much because I, I spent like a bit of money for it, right? Yeah. But it only came with two, and I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of shit. That's the same thing that happened to me. I got one, like, for mm. Christmas or something. I opened it or whatever, and it, yeah, had, like, the sleeve with all... Yeah, dude, was racist it Yeah, you just it, feel disappointment. And it's <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I got those two razor head bits, and I was like, oh, what? okay, well, it's not completely filled up, but I, I, I that's obviously due yeah. to the, like, actual packaging and how no, they I guess sell them. it might cost... Less to make, I don't know. So the moral, so so the moral of the story is, uh, Gillette's shit and Schick is amazing. Schick, please sponsor us. <laughs> I'm pretty got, sure making money, boys. Yeah, pretty yeah, sure making the um packaging for the Gillette razors costs a little bit more than the razors themselves. To be honest, we are going really? into very very fine territory. Like you know what you know what Joseph, I don't care if the packaging costs a cent more on either side. That doesn't seem very significant <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> You know, as long as long as either Schick or Gillette sponsors us, as long as we get money, I, I just really want do. money. <laughs> I'm really poor, right? Dude, now. Dollar Shave Club, where it's at, man. <laughs> Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Can we reach actually, out to Dollar them? Dollar Shave Club is good. Does anyone actually use that? I, I was have, contemplating I it for, for a, a very I long time. I used it for a little bit, but um, you know, I they look I pretty stopped. good, but I just didn't want to. I haven't like. I haven't really gotten around to growing any yeah, face you're hair still, You're recently. still getting your sort like, of in the neck beard stage. It looks disgusting at the moment, and I probably should uh, get rid of it. Cough, but, you cough know. I'm Asian. I, I don't really need razors. I just use it because, you know... <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a bit too like, lazy to actually do my full face, hence my... That's why I got the Irish um, <laughs> sideburns. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'd want to grow my moustache or beard out if I could. <laughs> I thought but you were going to get one of those, like, sensei yeah, moustaches. No, like, like, like I, th- yeah. I think it's genetics because I, I really can't grow mine out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get uh, my beard's so patchy as shit. It's <laughs> my mine grows pretty thick. It, it sucks. You're not well. bleach or anything, though. The longest hair I had was, like, a mill. And <laughs> a, a mill, like, out? or No, yep. uh, yeah, just, just a millimetre. It's, oh. it's okay, Snookums. <laughs> but you know my leg hairs they're a different story <laughs> your leg hairs like spiders it's like a spooder I have really spider like leg hairs yeah it could be something out of like a horror movie or something we'll do like the half man half spider I'm like the Asian spider we'll man. just grin to the <laughs> bob legs coming out the sides oh, and that'd, um that'd be cool. we've got ourselves the blockbuster the actor okay blockbuster right you know like the DVD shop blockbuster the last one just closed down didn't it what? in Alaska in Alaska, yeah, there was one operating in Alaska. And there's it. one in Perth. Yeah, is there one in yes, Perth? Yes, there's one in Perth and there's one in America. If the one in America just closed down, then Perth is the only blockbuster that exists. No, I, I swear, I saw um there was articles that the last blockbuster just closed down. I know there's one in Perth because I have a like ticket 
not a ticket, like a um a thing. Why would you go to a DVD shop? Because so it's a blockbuster. Perth, Perth is home to the last blockbuster. Really? Oh, oh wow. Okay. Holy cow. Morley, that's great. B- Morley Blockbuster yeah, Video Store defies the odds and is still going strong. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'd that's ridiculous. I remember I saw something on the news about that one. I know that, that like. Blockbuster. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Because I actually went there recently. Like, because me and my dad were like. It was like a blast from yeah. the past. I didn't know a lot of you people. You just see a blockbuster and you're like, you you have to go in it just because they're that rare. You have to, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of blockbuster. I, I'm Are you really? No, really? So remember DVD stores? I think I do. Remember yeah. when before be you wanting... would be able to download or um? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know those uh circular things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've always wondered what those discs were. Discs were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Did you ever go to one? I remember I used to go to the one we had oh. in, you know, Bridgetown, I've which is where we live. I mean, our viewers out there, do oh, shops come and count? visit us. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I mean, I've been to DVD shops, like. But yeah, that's not pretty much what a blockbuster that's is. A, except yeah, blockbuster it's just was like the big brand that would uh-huh. do yeah. that. Yeah, and obviously that's dying because you know Netflix and yeah, you know, every right. other thing ever. About? Netflix and um. Uh, Stan. 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 <laughs> Everyone uses Stan, don't they? <laughs> I was going to say the only person I know that has Stan is Josh. Yeah. But Does Josh use it for what? Josh, he says it's good. I don't mm. know. It's the only way you can watch Disney movies. Like I still that actually now. use. I still actually have Foxtel. Hmm. Yeah, I've got nothing. I mean, I've got you Kiss just, Anime. You just, yeah, you just have Kiss yeah, Anime. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. I <laughs> use Kiss <laughs> Anime and Netflix. I've got Crunchyroll. And that's it. I do have a Crunchyroll account. And oh. I'm uh, not a weeb. So <laughs> <laughs> You're the odd one out, Cody. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want to get into this before you two have scolded yeah. me about this. Um, <laughs> yeah. I-, I was thinking, better not get into any anime talks because Cody's going to be left out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably still be left out. I haven't yeah, watched I was say, you're trying to like a few anime yeah. you've seen. But I I've seen up. the Yu Gi Oh series. <laughs> and <laughs> Which ones, Cody? Which ones? The ones where the kid yells something and then grows tall and then throws cards oh, that's down. That's the original. Yeah, the original one. I remember where I watched that as a kid. That and that good. was about the same age I was watching Scooby Doo <laughs> and SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I mean, I'd still SpongeBob watch is that. pretty neato. That's Does anyone remember like the SpongeBob movie, the superhero one coming out the first time? The second oh, one. God. No, 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 the, the, the superhero movie. Like that was the second. Yeah, SpongeBob that's the movie. second oh, SpongeBob okay, well, movie. Which we're, that we're not talking about blasphemy here. We're talking about the original SpongeBob's and the know, original but, movie. But do you remember the freaking how everyone like absolutely hated it? Yeah. Well, everyone I knew hated it. I remembered. I remembered Cody hating it. Like I, I didn't hate it. You disliked it or something. I didn't think it was as good as any of the other ones. Mm. Like the first movie. Yeah, was the first movie is so better. good. But I watched a bit of the first movie. I guess so. Uh, do I get to be a part of the conversation? <laughs> yeah. no. I don't remember it. But anyway, it. rip Steven Hillenberg. Oh, oh gosh, he really was number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, Joseph. You got. You got to know your SpongeBob lore to really <laughs> get that. <laughs> nope. I wasn't really a SpongeBob kid when I was a <laughs> kid. Have you just always watched anime your entire life? J- like Joseph, anime raised How me. does the blockbuster in Morley have 4.6 stars? Jesus. 44 <laughs> Google reviews. Uh, that's Hold just up. where all the oldies go. Like, even, even my grandparents are on Netflix now. <laughs> I feel like people just go there for nostalgia now. Like, it's probably yeah. more so that. Like, because when, like... This is the best blockbuster in WA. I mean, I it's the why. only <laughs> blockbuster I guess in the world. Anywhere. <laughs> I don't think I even own a DVD player. Like, I, I think... I have a DVD wait, what? thing in my computer, but that's just ripped out yeah, of a very old I, computer. Other yeah. than that, I don't think I've actually used DVDs except as a monitor stand <laughs> since, like, the PS2 era. I mean, yeah. I downloaded Drivers once, but then I... <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I, I think my PS4 can like online. take discs, but like I, I've that, 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 that's always interested me. I like a lot of people use discs still on PS4. You yeah, know, but like something like even though they can pretty much download all of them for something like you know PC, you know, no one. I still have an optical no drive in my computer. I still have it, but no, you don't. You to yeah. get your games, you don't go out to like EB Games and buy it. So I, <laughs> I don't know. It interests me that that's still a common practice for consoles. I don't know, like, because you can download games, but they're just so much more expensive to download. Like, they don't go down in price ever, sort of thing. Oh, like, okay. a game that will be, be, like, when it comes out, say, like, even, like, games that are old, sort of thing, like, are still what their like very GTA first retail. Yeah, GTA 5 is still, like, $100 no, on PlayStation really? Store. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And then you can go to EB Games and buy it for, like, $30, yeah. like, cheaper sometimes, even. Like, yeah, no, that's, we I'm get pretty sure I picked up mine for $15, actually, because yeah. it was on spe- special at the time. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then I think like Red Dead Two, I'd still consider like uh, that's a new game, but like it's not like I'd still like it's gone down in price. Like if you go to EB Games, it'll yeah. be like fifty dollars, maybe sixty dollars. Well, first week is obviously the most expensive. Yeah, exactly. But on on, on the PlayStation Store, I'm pretty sure it's still like yeah. ninety something dollars plus. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I could ever justify spending that much on a game. Over yeah. Cody, ever. have you heard that apparently the new Xbox console is going to be almost exactly like a computer? Why not just what get what a does computer? It mean, what, does it mean like, what do you mean like that? Like, in I, I was reading an article a while ago and they were talking about how this thing is supposed to be able to perform as good as a computer and because it's got the whole... They said that about the Xbox One X. Yeah, which but actually, I, I was probably more positive towards it than I was expecting yeah. to be. It wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be, but I mean, it's not... Like yeah. PC quality. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea about consoles. <laughs> Bob just plays Paladins and um, <laughs> Paladins. That's good. It. It just watches. Paladins. I, I will carry for my Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know anime. Yeah, please don't, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Have you boys watched any of those Dragon Balls? I think Reese is like crazy yeah. into that at the moment. Uh, I mean, I've, I think I've he was, or maybe he was in. He was watching someone Naruto. was into Dragon Ball, or who, someone who was? was like telling me I should watch Dragon Ball. I can't remember. I, I, you shouldn't watch Dragon Ball. It's, it's, it, it's carried on fight scenes like. <laughs> cough, cough, one yeah, piece. Cough, just cough. Pretty much. <laughs> is that the one that came out of the stuff? movie, the Broly movie? There was a. Bro- I, I th- yeah, I think oh, that's that the Dragon, Dra- Dragon Ball. Ball Broly. Yeah. I've heard good things about it. Well, I don't know. I'm not a. Not a. Anime boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't keep up with the anime. Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Now, Hold up. I'm going to assume everybody's seen the new Spider-Man tra- trailer, right? Yeah, trailer. Far From yeah. Home. Oh, Far, yeah, from, far home. from Home. Yeah, Far From Home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, actually. Oh, what? <laughs> I haven't actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Oosh, okay. I have a feeling you're about to bring I'll up Sandman or the um, supposed Sandman. Yeah, I, see, that's what annoys me. I don't know if it's like... Yeah. I'll right. watch it with subtitles. Who's that? All right. Like... Dude that popped out with the powers and Who? stuff. I remember there was one dude. He was like cut a cape and he was oh, like, yeah, oh Mysterio. Yeah, Mysterio. Yeah, Mysterio. yeah. I, I haven't heard of him. He's like you know, he, he's one of those like B class. He's pretty mysterious. Heroes. He's in um, <laughs> uh, what is he? In? He's in the new Spider Man movie uh, Into the Spider Verse. He's in there. Is he? Is he? Yeah, he's Miles Morales's uncle. Oh, but yeah, Mysterio is. Meant to be a bad guy. I don't know what's what the yeah. dealio is there. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you if he was supposed to be a good or bad guy in the trailer. I mean, his face just seemed bad. <laughs> but, I mean, he was, his costume was like good. So. It's pretty yeah, neato. Yeah. Like with Sandman, I don't know if it is Sandman. Uh-huh. It's probably not Sandman. It's probably a different hero that I've Sandman, never even seen in my life. Really triggered, like. Yeah, but it's probably a different superhero and someone will be like, oh, it's actually this person. But I've, I don't know, I've seen a f- enough of stuff, like people saying like, oh, what is this? To it it kind just of looks like a Sandman, like what Sandman would look like. Has any official trailer had one of their cards say official trailer? Like it starts off, it says Spider-Man oh, it? Far From Home, then it goes I know that there trailer. was a lot, like there was a lot of like rip-off trailers for it though, because oh, yeah, like a lot, with, like Game a of lot. Thrones and stuff, they just edit all the last ones together. It's just fan-made stuff. Yeah, that's... I guess, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'll retract my criticism. But I do like the old suit better than his the new suit. The old Spider-Man suit? No, like the, the um Spider-Man Homecoming suit. I thought that was so much better the than the one. The one from Tony Stark or the homemade? The Not the homemade one. That is actually my favourite Spider-Man the homemade suit is in general. Really but, um, no, like, just the... Well, it was made by Tony Stark. Like the oh, first yeah. one, the gave him. first one that he gave him, not the one that was all flashy and like that. Okay, like yeah. the one that was just plain red, plain blue, and like the spider symbol. Oh, on but the it f- had like front it had a drone. That's back. it. Oh, okay, yeah. Had a drone and a few special features put into it. Yeah, but other than but that, the yeah. new one, like the black and red, I uh, I don't. Like, and it it's black and red, but the it's got s- webs on the um underarms. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. also the spider on the back is just like white. And that it does yeah. not suit the suit at yeah, all. I it think does that not the look like scheme it. Off a time. It really does. It does not look like it should be there at all. Maybe I don't know. Like because I haven't seen the movie because it's not out yet. But like yeah. you know, it maybe it'll look half decent. I thought Hopefully. there was too much black around the eyes as well. You reckon? I I kind of like it. It gives it more of a cartoonish vibe almost. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I prefer like that old work. 
like the, the Toby Maguire. To- shush, <laughs> I don't prefer Toby Maguire. But I prefer the suit. I'm gonna be honest. That was my favorite Spider-Man movie. Oh yeah. the first ones. Yeah. You know what? I would agree with you, Joseph. But um, that uh, the new one, the animated one, uh, into oh, the Spider Verse. Really that's good. That's blue, blown all. I'm probably gonna end up agreeing with you. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Joseph. It's just a very good. Good movie. Oh, well, I will well, probably end up agreeing with you, but until I watch it, I'm sticking with my. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, the first movie, dude. I, you know what? I think the, the Amazing Spider-Man movie? movies with Andrew Garfield, oh. Oh. they were the oh best. <laughs> How number two ended literally. Oh, I oh, hate they, it they so just, much. Is not that with good. like her dying? No, number two. That, that actually number does happen in comic books and stuff, though. Like, Gwen Stacy gets her neck snapped. But yeah. then, like, oh. in um, in a different, like, universe, like, with Gwen Stacy uh, being Spider-Gwen or, like, uh, yeah. Ghost yeah. Spider or whatever you want to call her, um, Peter Parker actually dies in that universe. Yeah. So, like, when they meet each other, it was like, hey, it's you, you're alive. Oh, what? You're uh-huh. also a spider person. <laughs> so, that that's kind of cool. My favourite comic books is where... um. Uh, MJ gets killed by Peter Parker's radioactive semen. Uh, what? <laughs> I've, I've heard about <laughs> Sorry, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was sort of tuned out because I don't really either do comic books, but um, please, please some more. I yeah, want some more uh, on it. I, apparently, I've done some reading on it, and in one of the <laughs> comic books, um, Mary Jane dies because as. Peter Parker spunks inside her. It's disgusting. She, she um, gets infected with cancer because of his radioactive semen. These comics were well. marketed towards children, right? <laughs> no, no, this was during, I think it was the gold age where it was all like death and that in the comics. Oh, okay then. So yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's one of the older ones. I mean, it kind of yeah. makes Damn, my everything. Is. Everything was radioactive in yeah. the, in that sort of in <laughs> like that sort of era, though. Like yeah. Spider Man, why is he spider? Radioactive spider. <laughs> why is Sandman? Sandman, oh, some radioactive sand testing. He Sandman. Hulk. Bring up Hulk. Like Hulk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gamma rays. Yeah. Gamma, like, gamma, rays. gamma rays and shit like that. It, everything is just like well, radioactivity, spooky stuff. Yeah. You know, like we don't know what happens if someone touches. Even it. the Joker is kind of like that. He fell into some form of chemicals. Yeah. yeah. To become insane or something. I'm I mean, not too good on the whole DC universe or anything like that. I don't know I don't my yeah. DC stuff. Really, any of the universes, boys. I mean, <laughs> Cody, what what do you know about? Because y- you don't know about two of the main topics that we've. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your horn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a very knowledgeable boy when it comes to um, video games and no, computers. Look, I know a lot about Scooby Doo. So um, let's. Dear, the conversation. Oh, that's the okay, yeah. monster thing. The right? live action movies were <laughs> my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I, I love the live action, live action, action oh, movies. I'm not gonna lie, so did I. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I love. I loved the first one. The second yeah. one didn't work for me yeah. as much. Which one was much. the first one? The, the first, first one is the one they're on the island. And then there's Rowan Atkinson who oh, plays, you know, the is island that dude. Where that tiny and then there's Scooby-Doo a little, little scrappy dude who turns big <laughs> and shit. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling a movie. It's what ten years old. <laughs> yeah. A bit more than twenty. Yeah, years. no, I've yeah. watched. I just like seventeen could, I can't years remember old. It. You can catch up. What's the one where um the I think it's a museum that they're checking out, or whatever. Yeah, no, that, that I remember. That, that one's one. great. Like, mm. that, that's the second one. I think it's, it's the second that, yeah, one. Yeah, Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed. I yeah, believe. I think. It is, but there's that guy, like, he's, um, I don't know, he's dressed up as, like, a vulture or some shit, and he, like, flies around and stuff. That, yeah, 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 that pterodactyl dude. Yeah, that one didn't catch him as much as the first one. For me, though, it was always the, like, I don't know if you saw any of the direct-to-DVD movies. There was about four of the ones, like, that came out as I was a child. Like, there was a Zombie Island one, a witch, an alien, and some sort of really meta- virus and they go into the computer or something something like that but i remember those were like they're like 40 minute long movies or something like that they're only short but mm. yeah i remember I'd, i've watched i would say i've watched those like a hundred times or something <laughs> well you'd be an expert on them cody i mean i would i've there's, seen there's, like there's, sadly actions. there's not a lot interesting that goes on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. it's just you know the standard formula here's an episode here's a monster monster dies em, end of episode not monster dies, yeah. but you know, old man Jenkins, you know, and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling that kids. That meddling yeah. kids line, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you're overly knowledgeable on, Cody? 
No, no, you're putting just, a lot just of Scooby-Doo. like weight on me, Joseph. Like, <laughs> I, I usually just spend all my time in my room rewatching Scooby Doo, and like, <laughs> uh, wouldn't that that's surprise that's your you entire life. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. And I have a little mystery van that I just smell occasionally and put it back <laughs> on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, I've completed. Um, have you? No, really? <laughs> have you? So, Bob, I've completed um, getting over it with Ben at 40 427 times. Are you kidding me? You have no yeah. Oh. So, th- I guess no. if you're saying that's what else I do in my room, I probably play that a bit. Um, yeah, I, I believe you. I mean, you posted like screenshots to me of, <laughs> oh, I got up to this time and what Three whatnot. minutes, I think, is the best. What's the, what's the world record for that? One minute. Oh, my God. How? You just mesmerized all the perfect lines. You get, you get the muscle memory. I can shut my eyes and do it. Really? For the most part, except until I get to about halfway in the game. Oh my god, that's insane! <laughs> but yeah. have you f- have you completed sexy hiking? Uh no. I've I I have I have seen like what that looks like, and I just <laughs> haven't got around. Oh, to it is the it. buggiest shit in the I world. I think yeah, that's what it was meant it to is. be. Though he goes on about that in uh, whatever the video essay is, but yeah, I've, I've never know. even like I've never played getting over it or sexy hiking. Uh, I attempted before, so. getting over it, but I just couldn't get over As I'm it. too cheap to actually buy getting over it, I just downloaded <laughs> Sexy Hiking and tried that and the, let me tell you, getting over that tree was quite the struggle. Because <laughs> if I hadn't have like gotten over it and then launched myself 10 miles backwards, I had glitched <laughs> through the bottom of the map. But that's a tough game, so uh, good job. Sexy Hiking's a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, I've heard. Have you finished it, Joseph? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Cody should give it you a crack. losers, you know, with the lives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really do much with my life besides what paladins and anime yeah. and rolling around in bed with my body pillow. On the bright side, that doesn't cost you tens of grand, like like um Lego. And, and <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad hobby to get into. A worse hobby to get into is photoshopping Hatsune Miku in bed with you. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop? I'd no, that wasn't a Photoshop. It had a watermark yeah, it was on the it. Domino's she actually app. came over and <laughs> slept with me. One of my friends has a um a silicon statue of her that stands about, I'd, I'd say. So uh, she's cheating on me now. Yes. <laughs> it's it's, it's about a thirty centimeter high silicon statue of her, and I was actually gonna. St- what was there was a statue that um like sold for like what hundred oh, million you or something? Have it was told a big, me about big that. anime statue just spunking everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> right. The most, like expensive things ever. I'll try and Google oh, it. you guys good. talk for a yeah, second. Yeah. Um. There's a guy that's been married to like Hatsuma Mik- so or what a like a, I don't Hatsuna know how, what her name is. But you got to say in like really Asian. Yeah. Otherwise do it, it's Bob. Do it. Otherwise, a bunch of people will hate you. I what? can't do it. <laughs> yes, you can, I'm then. not. Oh wait, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I'm not Japanese. It's Japanese. <laughs> but like, you know, our countries are miles apart. <laughs> like a lot of countries. Long distance relationship. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, jeez. It's hard to make it last, Cody, but you know. That's why she keeps cheating on you, Bob. I so know. the price was $15 million. <laughs> what? what does it look like? I'm loading an image now. Okay. There's not really good internet where we are right now. Oh, um, okay, so cool, on cool. something that isn't anime or superheroes in Virgin. <laughs> um, oh, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, you lost your virginity to that. Um, uh, Hatsune Miku. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good night, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna throw in an intentional segue here. Uh, Bob, what about you? Tell the story about the one time you rubbed toothpaste on your balls while I'm getting. Oh, oh, I've, no. done oh, no. I've done that before. Tell me this. You've done that before. Yes, I've done that before. It, it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> like, I could imagine so. It, like, it hurts. Apparently, like, like, according to your you, moisturi- Bob. yeah, my moisturizer ran out, <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> No, because like that Nivea um, container doesn't have a lot in it and it only lasts me like a month. So you mean instead of something like shampoo or conditioner, your mind went straight to toothpaste? I don't even know why. This was back when I didn't have shampoo and conditioner. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you guys make it seem like... Didn't even know it existed. (laughs) Shampoo and conditioner? What kind of foreign objects No, because I was washing my my hair with like toothpaste and soap. What? Not toothpaste, no. I was you washing doing my it with soap. With toothpaste. Washing, <laughs> your, washing your hair with yeah, soap. See, that's yes. what I. That's that's how it happened to me. I was thinking 
you know, like this was also kind of recently. Oh my god, that That's statue is a mess. Statue, if you okay. want to have a look, but um, it's got like Naruto hair. Can you send it to me on Dick's cord? Yeah, I, I don't know why I put toothpaste on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just like uh, trying to think of some kind of lube to well, masturbate with? No, 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 no. I was like... in the shower. <laughs> like I was in the shower, like, having a shower or whatever, and I think I just kind of like, like got toothpaste. I was like, huh? I wonder. And I just like put it on my balls and I was like, this this is like kind of tingly. And then I was like, huh, this kind of hurts. <laughs> like, See, I've brushed this... my teeth in the shower at times when it's like, like bits of it have fallen down onto my inner thigh and I'm like, oh, that hurts. Wait, no, thank yeah. you. But like, I could not know. <laughs> 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 I'll put a, um, I'll put a <laughs> the image on screen. Why is that so expensive? <laughs> um, look at the people in the background. <laughs> Wait, I you know, I'm that. more concerned about what that thing at the top is. Like, that's that's his head. That's his hair. No, no, no. I mean, the thing oh, right at the top, spunk. that large that's white spunk. Like, <laughs> spunk. sheet looking thing. Does your spunk Dude. not come out in sheets? My um, spunk my comes spunk out. around like, me. If, yeah. I don't think I've got it. If, 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 <laughs> if I could spunk more than a hundredth of that, I'd be impressed, to you be would honest. Have to, you would have had to spunk like, and God turned damn. around. The fact like, that it's life sized makes me. I feel lightheaded. That's but going back onto stinging um, genitalia. Uh, you yeah. ever done chili on your balls? Because I've accidentally what? had jalapenos. Oh, How no. do you accidentally drop jalapenos? So on? like you know, I, I'm eating yeah, jalapenos. I'm, I'm I'm a spicy little boy. I like my spice. So I was eating jalapenos, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just ditch my dick. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's not fine. <laughs> I can't compare it to toothpaste because mm. I, I I haven't. You know, descended into that level of anarchy, <laughs> but I mean, it's a very unpleasant experience nonetheless. It sort of starts to burn, and you you yeah. don't know what to do. Do I go rub it in, rub some water on it, or put, put on the jalapeno <laughs> yeah. douse it with more toothpaste? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that um, that that's not a pleasant experience, and I can't. No. Imagine One could imagine. I mean, I've had uh, chili in my eyes. Yeah, I remember when we were, <laughs> when I gave you the um, ghost chili and your um. Your idea was to grab your eyeballs. Get, yeah, get get a bunch <laughs> of the particles on his fingers, rub it into his fingers, and then just fucking really quickly just over his eyes. Um, um, yeah. So why don't you tell what happened? Basically, I thought it would be a bit of a humorous sort of thing to do. So I got the yeah, I got the chili and I started rubbing it in my eyes. To ghost then, chili, mind you. Yeah, ghost, ghost chili. chili. <laughs> to then almost instantly realize. Holy shit! I can't open my eyes anymore because <laughs> upon like trying to open my eyes, it felt like I had a blowtorch pointed <laughs> at each eye, just like burning out like everything around my face. Ooh. So I got taken up to the office. I, I <laughs> can't actually remember like well, I, I, you I blacked couldn't, out. I couldn't see who was taking me up to the office. Oh God! But yeah, I like you know people took me up to the office and the like you know the. Like lady at the desk just said that I looked like a raccoon because I had literally <laughs> bruised around my eyes. Oh wow! <laughs> and, um, oh. So yeah, I like you know they were trying to put eye drops in, but I couldn't open my eyes. Like I physically could not open them. My they body, just swelled. Or yeah, my body wouldn't let me open them oh. because oh. like you know evolutionary the, tactic. The realization that if I opened them, it would hurt like hell. <laughs> so yeah, I I got. <laughs> I got my mum called <laughs> She came and picked me up And like I had a big bandana thing Wrapped around my head So like I could You know Like it would cool down my eyes Because right. any air Like me walking Felt like I had sandpaper Like rubbing against oh, my skin Because yeah. the air Just against Ooh. my skin Would like Just Hurt So badly uh, And yeah So I got taken to the hospital <laughs> And uh yeah, it. They kind of just like said, "Are you okay?" And they just said, "Are you allergic to chilies?" And I was like, "I, I don't think so." And they're like, "All right, you should be okay." And they gave me some like water and shit to put in my oh, eyes. Oh, that's helpful. They gave you water. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. I'm also pretty sure you know I am another kind of pain in the genitalia area of stomach acid. Are we oh, going to go into no, this on the first no, episode? I don't want to go into this. <laughs> Not on the first episode. <laughs> So if you want to hear the story of stomach acid on someone's genitalia, tune into episode two, where Seven will explain this. <laughs> Seven, you're contractually up. obligated now. Ooh. Episode oh two. Oh god! All right. Oh, we'll, we'll just um, cover it by not name dropping anyone. 
and I think yeah. we'll get through yeah. it pretty well. <laughs> Got a bunch of stories in, on backlog to go over. I mean, we yeah. we could say it was like my stomach acid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just bobs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone just like stabbed a knife into your stomach and just went all over his pants. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, that's totally what happened. I stabbed Bob in the stomach and he started like you know stomach acid. Stomach all acid. Over me, came all out all over my it's crotch. Not, it's yeah. not. Let's not go any more into it. We we want to <laughs> give the viewers something, to, the listeners something to come back to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. Are you guys excited for Toy Story 4? Uh, Is that a thing? Apparently, it's really uh, sad. Like, it's really, really, no, really sad. No, Toy Story 3 sad. was sad. They can't put no, another sad no, on us. No, like, apparently, some of the people, like, had a hard time filming the last bit of it because of how sad it was. Mm. Tom Hanks That's got choked up recording Toy Story 4's ending movies. Tim Allen teases final <laughs> Toy Story 4 scene. I couldn't get through it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, yeah, was no, Toy Story It's not really. Really, really Toy sad. Yeah, as you said, Toy Story 3 was Toy sad. Story 3 was a sad thing. That was going the, uh, towards the incinerator, you know, yeah. Yeah. Held, you know, embracing death. Yeah. That's how Toy Story 3 <laughs> went. Well, what could they do with Toy Story 4? Oh, please. It's a little theory video on Woody's being killed off. That would be but, a bit mm, yeah. bad. There's a few things saying is Woody going to be killed off. Um, I don't know. I guess. Watch out for Woody. Don't get emotionally attached to him now. He might die. <laughs> Damn it. We've got a Lego Movie 2 coming out. It's, or, isn't it already, oh, it's out? already out. Is yeah, it? I, I didn't so. even know about that. I really want to watch it as well. The only animated movie I'm really looking forward to is Shrek 5. <laughs> hmm? I thought it was... Is, it, five? is it Shrek, Shrek 5, 5 or is it oh, a reboot? Because yeah. I know there's a reboot coming out. I'm almost certain there's a Shrek 5 coming out. Um, there's a Shrek oh, reboot. I'm pretty sure there's a Shrek reboot. Shrek reboot or Shrek five? They don't know something's uh, coming out. Okay. okay, so it's not it's not confirmed, but we will be seeing our favourite green ogre um, <laughs> return on the big screens. I don't know very many other green ogres yeah. to be honest. I mean, there was like that Fiona chick. I think yeah, she's that's still from that's still from Shrek though. Y- yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna have a Fiona Rude. spin-off movie. Oh god. Even though Shrek five or no Shrek four had that that was weird spin-off. Weird. Like plot line sort of thing that yeah. was, you know, Shrek, you know, Fiona is an empowered woman or something. Do you know what my favorite thing from the Shrek, Shrek series is? The like, the, uh, the, um, America's Got Talent game show thing. At, I think it's the end of Shrek 2. Does no one else remember that? There was a dance scene. Is that what yeah. you mean? At the end uh, of no, Shrek 2, it wasn't a game show, it was a dance no, scene. The, the, oh. Shrek 2, Shrek game show. I'm going to get some weird shit if I look up Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> far, far away idol. Yeah, that's oh. it. Yeah, it's not giving me an awful lot. Of, that was just the title of one YouTube video. It's no, just distorted images that? of yeah, Shrek. No, I, I, do you remember I watching that? I kind of remember it. Shrek 2 was really good. Shrek 1 uh, was I, really good. Shrek 3 and 4 weren't they? I can't. Which ones? Yeah. When they had the babies and shit? That was not good. That was the third one. They yeah. might have been in the second one. Or the, the I don't think they were in the second one. third one was with the wizard guy and... Oh, Arthur that was and something. It didn't. So it, it didn't need to exist. The first two were good. Didn't need to exist any further. What's the, yeah? What's the one where they go into that like different dimension? Yeah, I don't know. Place Rumpel where there's Skiltskin like one? shitloads. Of, no, there's shitloads of ogres. And that's they like we were just talking about. It's the Rumpelstiltskin yeah, yeah. one. That's the fourth one. Is that the Rumpelstiltskin one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, that just goes to show how much I haven't watched Shrek for ages. Well, that's not I know less about uh, Shrek than you, Seven. I mean. Mm. There's Shrek. I know he's Shrek an ogre. Exists. Do you know Shrek Con exists? No. But <laughs> like I feel I should probably. There's a there's a movie that they made at Shrek Con where ev- like mm-hmm. every single person got dedicated their own scene that they had to film in like their own weird style of filming and stuff. And there's a whole full movie of the first movie that's like filmed all in weird scenes and stuff. I <laughs> I need to see this. I, it came out a while ago. I haven't seen it yet. The ad for it looks bloody great though. Like. I, I've seen the trailer for it. I just got one thousand versus one hundred dollar mystery box from eBay. You won't believe what we found. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh damn! I mean, as I was trying to find Shrekcon, I um one of the search like criteria fields was Shrek condoms. So that's, <laughs> always, <laughs> that's always Imagine great. That you, you, oh, that? you pull your trousers down and pull out the old <laughs> Shrek condom. I think Oof. she'd be thrilled. I'd, I'd be thrilled. What is yeah. that? It's old, reliable, baby. Does yeah. it have the ears on it? Like, I want ears on it. <laughs> no, I want it's the head to be... I want the it's head of it. It's got layers like onions. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
the head of the condom better be his face. <laughs> like, he is sticking out. What, what does that say? Maximum protection. She maximum protection. She visits your swamp. Yeah, I've seen this. <laughs> I don't think this is real. Uh, Unfortunately, oh, I mean, if it is, I'm buying it. <laughs> I want to be sponsored by Shrek condoms. I'll never get that to use it. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'll buy it with you guys. Just found a photo of the world's oldest condom. Like, is it used? I'm not 100% sure. That's but a sock, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's, that's what, what it's captioned. Have you heard about like that guy that's... um. Like he was found in the ice or something like uh, I don't know. Oh, like, the yeah, the ice. Like uh, just that oldest condom kind of reminded me of it because it's you know like in ancient sort of things. But like because it like the guy that was frozen, I can't remember what his name was. It was like Utsi or something like that. I yeah. Don't know, I don't know. But um, he was found like directly on the border of these two countries. So they built a museum around him, <laughs> like and put him in there. But like they, he was. What countries do you know? Do I, like I can't remember. Okay. Then. But like they, um, yeah, they found him, like he was fully clothed or whatever. And he was frozen to the point like where they could see exactly what he had eaten and everything. Like he was, what do you mean? Like he was, happen? I don't know the way that he was like, he, he was hundreds of years old yeah. sort of thing, but he was frozen in such a way that like everything had been kept perfectly. So they could like, oh, they, when they oh, okay. opened him up, they could see in his stomach what he had just eaten oh, and yeah. like that how long cool. ago before he died, yeah. he had eaten it and everything like that. But like, yeah, he was wearing socks like woven out of grass and okay. like, ah, mm. oh, it's crazy. But yeah, that he had eaten like a piece of bread and some meat before he died. And then <laughs> like, yeah. Mm. But yeah, because he was on the border of a country, of two countries, they built a museum around him. Was it like warring countries sort of thing? It was like some I, her- um, I'm heroic not, story of peace? Or I'm not sure. Is it just like <laughs> he brought I know the two that they were fighting together. over him because they were like, hey, they were fight, they they were, well, not like fighting, fighting, but they are like, hey, it's mine. And they're like, no, <laughs> he's mine. Wouldn't they just do a background search and see what country is actually like his <laughs> background? I don't think they had like this intense level of government surveillance. They'll just take his finger. They knew his name. <laughs> Come on. Like, well, they didn't know his name. They came up with that name. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes that, sense. Yeah, that would. Okay, then. And could they just. Come up with Utsi. Yeah, Utsi. Couldn't call him like John or something? Well, it was John's from a country generic. that's, you know, like a. Oh. Somewhere yeah. in Europe, I feel as if this yeah, is. Yeah, I think it like was. Yeah. John still sounds in pretty the northern European. half of Europe area. Oh. I'd say it was something. I I mean, I can't remember. But Finland is that is that, is that even in mm. Europe? Of course, it's in Europe. I don't know if it, I think it was like just you and me that were talking about like the first time we either looked up porn or oh, that was um, yeah, Bob was there as oh. well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it's All right, we're gonna ask story. Story. We'll ask Joseph. And yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just tell Joseph our stories as well. Joseph. Can maybe lead the um lead the charge with this one. Mm-hmm. Um, very first time you looked up porn and or masturbated, not yeah. The very f- actually the first time I ever saw any form of porn was when I one of my f- friends gave I can't remember how fucking old I was, but one of my friends gave me this little flip phone. It was one of those really old <laughs> flip phones, and as I was going through the photos on it, there was there was some uh, porn photos on there, and I was very oh sure. Homemade? Or? Yes, they were homemade ones. Oh, was, okay, and your, I, it was a hand-me-down from your dad or something? No, it was from <laughs> one of my friends. I don't know how he obtained it, but like, yeah. No, and it was of a woman as well. But yeah, no. Really? Yeah. And it Whoa. shook you? You got horrified? I was not expected. I was a very innocent child. What's the first well? time you looked up porn? Like what was the fir- when, when, when did you know that you know that loss of innocence occur and you wanted to be a dirty boy? A few years later. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. <laughs> <sighs> it, it happened like that and he went from this innocent I mean, I never deleted the photos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still got the um, phone in his room. <laughs> <laughs> it ended up getting destroyed. On the side of a road or something, I think I got thrown out of one of my friends' cars. Oh, <laughs> you weren't keeping it very close to your heart then. Do you remember like when you first looked up porn? Yeah, intentionally. No, I think it was. He's never. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've never done. No, nah, um, it was. I think it was at one of my friends' houses. They sh- were showing me that they because they, they, no one had the internet when in my town because it was a really small town, so no one had the internet okay. except for. That must really have been ages ago because I remember I was. I was. We were in the same p- position, but yeah, it was it was t- a tiny little fishing town, like oh, absolutely minuscule. Okay. But no one had internet. But I went over to one of my friends' houses that did have internet, and it was a sleepover or something. 
and their parents had left or something. And he's like, oh, shit, let me show you something that's, like, hella cool and stuff and, like, all grown up. And, <laughs> mm. yeah, that was the first time it was... I, I saw porn on the internet. That was the first time I ever used the internet as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So that's, that was the imprint in your mind. I guess I, yeah. I guess, I mean, I had a similar experience, mm. you know, going over to Seven's house and he would have <laughs> a box of... Oh, um, shit, that's a, right. A box of old uh, Playboys or something oh, yeah, in one thing. of the shearing sheds. I know Playboys and stuff are updated now, obviously, with the, mm. you know, on, with the internet, you can look up, you know, midget scat porn at the, at the tip of your fingers. But, oh. I mean... You know, old, you know, the you know the classics. He had a big box of them, and we would um, we'd w- go down to the shearing shed, which <laughs> was down the hill a bit from the actual house, and we'd just sort of look at them and experience odd feelings, not knowing what, how to feel. But <laughs> just like, like, yep, that that that's a naked lady. <laughs> like, that is a naked yeah. lady, indeed. No, my indeed, um, how 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 quaint. As <laughs> my mum liked to uh, draw people a lot, she used to have a lot of nude mags because they always had poses that she would want to draw them in because she would always draw lewd-ish people or paint. So lewd- it, was, it was some sort of so artsy way. Yeah, there was yeah, one okay. of her... It's what she used as reference pictures was a bunch of... She had this boxes upon boxes upon boxes of porno mags. Jesus. <laughs> like, there were <laughs> heaps of the damn things. And got like, oh, fuck... And my brother used to steal them every now and then. Um, as I was in my <laughs> brother's, because he used to live in the shed out the back of my house. That's what, like, he was, had his own room in there. As I was in there one time, I found his stash of them. Because I can't remember what I was trying to find. I think I was trying to find his darts or something. But, like, I found them with my mate. And, yeah, I, same thing as you. We just sort of sat there and looked at him and, like, what the shit is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd feel so weird. Knowing that that, like, I wouldn't want to know what kind of <laughs> porn, like, anyone in my family liked. Yeah. That would just, it would turn me off that entire genre. <laughs> oh, he likes women? Oh, I can't like women. I'll think of him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go I guess I'm gay now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, see, because my mum had porn mags of both male and female just for reference photos. That's what, but my brother used to steal Is them Is that why you like this? Yes, that's why I'm gay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Bob, did you have anything like that? I know uh, we've talked about, we'll go into it soon. Well... But did you have anything on the terms of, you know, the organic magazine style? You probably just watched organic. an etchy anime. This is his first time. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> no, I want to know any, anything organic. I d- n- no. I, I mean, I used to, like, draw boobs on paper. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just and like, he took off to his own drawing. <laughs> two circles. <laughs> But I mean, it's a Venn diagram, Mum. <laughs> that, I've uh, I've never really had you know the whole magazine experience, okay. unlike you guys. Okay. I remember actually finding those magazines that you were talking about. So Cody. you were never led to them. You were just no. I was never led. Like, I, yeah, I was just messing around. Just <laughs> stumbled on the box. Of yeah, them. like yeah. Me and my cousin were like down, like just at the sharing shed or whatever, just because you know being down the sharing shed yeah. is just you know cool. something to do. Yeah, cool, man. And um, yeah, we like saw one of the boxes, and we kind of just stood there and like, huh? Well then, <laughs> and kind of, you know, just just looking at him like, kind of baffled, almost. <laughs> yeah. I remember that became sort of a thing though. Every time I'd go over to your house, we'd be like, "Do you want to go down there now?" And if you, even if you had other friends over, we'd be like, oh, "Let's go, let's go, let's go, go have a look down the shearing shed, guys." Wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. And uh, yeah. Sort of a little tradition we had. <laughs> so Cody was like into it. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I wasn't getting harder in here. I was what? what how old I think we just were like intrigued. Eight, something like yeah. eight. We were eight, nine, that sort of age. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we were just looking at it and like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? Like, they're burnt now or something? I think they got burnt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they got burnt them. because. The I think out, Dexter found them. <laughs> His little brother found them or something, and you know, one oh. thing led to another. We had to burn them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I remember stealing a few of Mum's ones as well. After I ended up finding the initial seconds after your brother's. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like the same thing as what Seven used to do was like show his mates. Like that was just a thing that would happen if you had a porn mag. I don't know why. Yeah, but um, <laughs> another boys. situation was one of my friend's dads was moving out of the house. And as he was moving out, he left like all of his stuff on the driveway. And there was a few boxes of porn he left with all his stuff. On no, the no, driveway. he, he like because it took a few days. Like he oh, left yeah. some of his things out in the, like in the driveway. It like seems it was like the number one way to get it stolen. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it was a tiny little town. Like okay, everyone, okay, knew yeah, everyone. I guess so, so yeah. yeah. 
But um, so in the dead of night, me and my mate had this genius plan to steal some of these magazines. <laughs> Joseph, you need to write a novel. That's what you got, man. <laughs> that would be the most uh, epic story. It was, it was, it wasn't so very. I can't remember a whole lot of it, but I can vividly remember like the whole staying over at his place and ended up stealing like three or four of them. You didn't want to get too much to be we suspicious. Didn't, yeah, it wasn't. Go- we didn't want to. Ki- there was only a few small boxes of them, so okay. yeah. But we picked what we enjoyed the most looking at, and <laughs> I have no idea where any of these magazines are at this point. But like, yeah, if we ended up leaving them at his place because, yeah. I guess even though like it's not even for the mag itself, it's sort of the rush. Of yeah. Just, you know, it, because you know that morning. you're not meant to yeah. at that sort of age, or you know that it's like I, first time we were doing that. I mean, I hadn't had the talk yet. I was just sort of a. Uh, yeah, I don't like. You just know it's not right. I mean, and I was mm. never really a bad boy. I wasn't like this, you know, delinquent kid. And I'm <laughs> still not. I'm a, I'm a little goody two shoes. But I know there's something How about can you that. You're delinquent like, when you don't leave your room. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> I he stole two dollars out of my mother's purse the other day. He bullies kids online, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you, Bob. But well, um, I don't bully seven. kids. If, if we've d- um, exhausted the organic matter, do you want to go on to the first time you intentionally? Oh, I intentionally uh, looked, looked up, up because porn. we've talked about this before, but Joseph wasn't here with us, so um, yeah, let's I go. On. Let's go into it. I know that, like, because like, I I was kind of like I I had just gotten this like sort of new phone or whatever, <laughs> and it, like I, I don't know, I was like ten or eleven, like was it a flip phone or no no no, no. Okay. it was like a like a Samsung something, like it was only yeah, okay. small. I, I don't care of. about the model too much. It was yeah, just a little touch screen thing. And, um, yeah, I'd only just gotten it and I, I, I just, I was laying in bed and thinking, you know, what would be a good idea? I, I kind of like, <laughs> like at this time I was like, you know, already beaten my meat and shit, you know, how old, how disgusting. Old? How old were you? I was like 11, maybe oh, 10. Okay. No, I thought you said, okay. I thought you said nine, ten. Sorry. No, Go not again. nine, ten. Yeah, Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, disgusting. <laughs> One year after <laughs> ten, fucking crap. Yeah, I know, right? There's a oh. specific age where you can start. Before then, it's just... Uh, yeah. yeah, I was like <laughs> ten or eleven or whatever. <laughs> and, um, like, because usually I just, like, try and imagine scenarios in my head, you know? <laughs> it's still an efficient method. Don't yeah, it's still, that. it's still, still a good efficient. method, you know? I still yeah. use that. Anyway, so I thought, you know what, like, I... I really want to just see boobs. <laughs> and so... Shows in Bob's artistic skills. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'll I show you my boobs. I should have asked Bob to draw me some... <laughs> I'll, I will. I will. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I looked up naked lady. Right. I remember very specifically that's exactly what I'd looked up, like naked lady. And, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, this is the best shit ever. Then realizing... <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> and pressing the home button, pressing back onto Google, and it's right there, like on my search history. <laughs> and I'm like, what if my dad gets my phone? Like, what if someone sees this? So I hit it like in this like I don't know, like a folder thing or whatever. And I I didn't touch it for ages. And I remember dad was asking, like, where is that phone actually? Like, you know, oh, do you want to put music on that phone? I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm okay. It's okay. <laughs> sort of thing. And I just, I, I hit it for ages. And yeah, I did like, like, I, I, yeah, I couldn't like, I, I had almost forgotten that it existed. And then one day my dad had said, hey, I've like, you know, I've got that phone. Remember that phone? I was like, <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it maybe like. <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know, 12 or 13. Okay, yeah. so and I was like, oh gosh, okay. Well, he's found that phone. He's probably looked through the search history. And I re got the phone and I opened it up and yeah, opened up Google and there was like nothing on like the history. So either he just deleted the history on it and <laughs> saw it and, like, and wouldn't have cared or anything. Like he, the thing is he wouldn't have cared at all. Like it wouldn't <laughs> have been something he cared about. But like, yeah, at that point, at that sort of moment, I was like so scared that like he had found that I'd like looked up this stuff or whatever. Eyes flash, but life flashed in front of his eyes. Yeah, exactly. I thought I was. <laughs> Wait, how old were you die. when this happened? Twelve, thirteen. Yeah, twelve, thirteen when he found it, sort of thing. <laughs> Real stressing at that age, do- oh. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph, do you do you at this age right now? Do you still parade around to your parents like I looked up porn? You still want to keep it at twelve, thirteen? I was doing a little bit more than looking Joseph, up. Joseph, you need to okay, shut yeah, up. Let's not talk about <laughs> that. I mean, I know I'm that's just... that's not okay. Um, so seven, I can actually sort of now tell you my story, and it's sort of it's like yours, but it's sort of a <laughs> step up in every way and regard. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> okay, so I'll direct this mainly to you, Joseph, because I'm you haven't heard this one yet. So, Seven had a phone, right? Seven was about... How old did you say? 10? 10. 10, 11. Um, I was nine. Um, <laughs> so, what had happened? My parents and my brother were gone off, I think, to the pool. I don't know. I was at my own... I was at on my own at the house. I had recorded on um, the TV um, a Victoria's Secret fashion show. Are you aware of that? You know, when the, the, yep. they would parade around, you know, the bikinis and shit. And I'd watched... I, I was watching it, obviously. It was, it was about an hour long. They were out for ages. I'm like, I've got time. I was watching that and, you know, just taking it in, sort of understanding, developing an idea of, you know, um, feminine standards and true respect for women. Um, <laughs> I watched it and sort of it came to the end, nothing too eventful. There was some feathers here and there, some confetti, who cares? Um, So I watched that, it finished, and I was like, damn, I want a bit more. Um, So what I did, I didn't have a phone at this age. I was nine. I didn't really have anything over like the Lego and Bionicles. Um, So I decided, okay, and I went and sat on the family computer. Now, this is in the middle of the lounge room which is attached to the tv is there when you walk in okay um so i sat down i'm like okay how do i get from here to naked women so i opened up google right as any sane man would do (laughs) Mm -hmm. and i as this is interesting i don't know if this is a recurring theme seven knew exactly that he typed up naked lady um i looked up vagina (laughs) now (laughs) i didn't know how to spell vagina at that age it's a little odd little tidbit but it was like I, tr- I tried searching for it like four times until I got, you know, the actual spelling. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I found it. I went on to Google Images, the number one source for all smut, um, <laughs> and sort of, you know, looked at it scrolling through. I could feel my heart racing because as we talked before, you know you're not meant to do mm-hmm. it, but yeah, you're curious, right? <laughs> Everyone does it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. And obviously, not getting hard. I'm nine years old. Puberty didn't start for a few more weeks. Um, <laughs> so taking it in, um, and I try a few more searches like um, boob, <laughs> elbow, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, looking at it, taking it all in. Then um, then I was like, okay, I don't know how much longer I can go for this. They're probably going to be home soon. And then, you know, in my mind, I thought, oh God, hmm, this is, I got, I got to hide my searches somehow. <laughs> So I didn't know how to clear the history at this age. I wasn't um, super computer savvy at nine years old. Mm. So I thought, how do I hide my search history? Ooh, I'll look up a bunch of stuff around <laughs> and flood it by the masses. <laughs> so I looked up stuff like, I don't know, Shoes, who was the voice of Patrick Starr, you know, that sort of stuff. Just flooded it with as many, many search terms as I possibly could. And I'm like, they'll never find it through this, this big incoherent mess. And I turned <laughs> off the computer. And it would have been fine there if I just left it there. But, you know, I keep running through it in my head, Joseph. It's, it's, not, it's not a good trait, but I would work through in my head all these possible scenarios where I'm going to get caught and I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> but I needed to find out which of these were valid. And out of all the scenarios, there was one that stuck in my head like, oh, no, this could, this could actually get me in trouble. I thought that maybe we might get an email, I'm sorry, sorry a mail in the post from our internet <laughs> service provider as to, you know, like the history in male form. I wasn't sure if this was going to happen. So to make sure it wouldn't happen, I went and asked my mum, Mum, do you find out all the stuff that we've been looking up in the mail? And she's like, no, why would you ask that? Are you trying to hide something? (laughs) No, mum. And I went into my room. Um, Now, no shit that's going to set off red flags for any, 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 any good parent. I sort of avoided talking to her for the next hour oh. or so. I remember vividly, I was in my parents' bedroom at the time when it's still probably acceptable at that age to be laying on their bed, watching Wipeout with my dad. You know, good good father-son bonding. That's when my mum walks into the room. Um, Rich, which is my dad's name, um, can I speak to you, please? Takes him out. I hear some hushing. I get a, my, a, a, a you know, that sinking feeling in your stomach like... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> then, you know, my dad came into the room and he, um, that's when I got the talk, actually. Ooh. I didn't get in too much trouble, but there was definitely the element of disappointment. I had to say sorry, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, that's probably where the story starts to teeter off. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So you're so And straight. I didn't nail. So right. And I never I, and I got scared and didn't look up porn until I was like twelve. Jeez. <laughs> well I Why mean, Bob wants mm, to go next. Mm, do you want to go Joseph or no. you got something to say? Do you want nah, to go? Bob, yeah. let's get let's have your um, Alright. So uh, my first time Jeez, it was so long ago. I was like, uh, I think 11 or 12, around the same age seven was over there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think I got the f- same feelings you guys had, you know, the I want to look at some boobs. So <laughs> yeah. I just wa- waltzed over to my family PC, um, <laughs> turned it on. You, you know, it, it didn't have a password on it at that time. So uh, <laughs> I just open up the Google because, you know, my parents, they weren't home at the time. I wouldn't really be doing this if they were home. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just opened up Google, typed up, what, boobs triple X because I knew triple X was like some sort of code word <laughs> yeah. for um, porn. Yeah, instant boobies. <laughs> yeah, no, and like, and after that, I'd look up cartoons and put triple X afterwards because I'd oh my God. Just cartoons just specifically or different cartoons. Oh no, no, cartoons just like different cartoons, like what Ben cartoons? Ten. <laughs> um, That's the popular one, though. There's there's a few Asian cartoons. Uh, yeah, just SpongeBob and stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> anyway, I remember just looking at a few pictures at first, but then. The uh, the addiction got worse after that. <laughs> I, oh I went on to <laughs> videos, and then uh, I, I was craving for more. I couldn't just stop there, guys. So um, I typed up "sex games," right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> Wait, how old were you when this all happened? Oh, I was eleven or twelve. No, because I was into Friv and I loved playing Friv games. <laughs> I still do, right? So I'm like, porn, right? And games. What if I like, you know, mix those two together, right? So I just searched up sex games, triple X and whatnot. Um, came up like the first one. I just j- j- clicked, clicked on it. Um, I didn't really like it. So I went on to the second one, played around a bit. It was like, put this in the chick, put that in the chick, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> water bottles, carrots, I don't know. But That's like, y- you had to avoid the mum coming in and finding out <laughs> or something. <laughs> wow, but that that's, sounds well designed. Oh no, no, not my mum, like the ch- ch- chicks, <laughs> chicks You mom. were avoiding your parents on two levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, after that, I just like dug around for like an hour or two. Uh, and then I just logged off. I'm like, yeah, well, that was cool. I, I didn't like jerk off to it or anything because, you know, at the time I didn't know what j- beating my meat was. Uh, I, I just thought you peed out of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never knew how babies were made. So, um, yeah, I just went to my room, read a, read a good book um, <laughs> that I got from the like, primary school. Like all good boys. Yeah, 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 because I was supposed to get like, what, 10 minutes of reading per oh, night. Yeah, I remember uh, when we'd have to yeah. do that. Which I didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> like, usually I would just write that I did um, 10 minutes of reading, put my mum's signature down the bottom because it was just like a few lines here and there. Showed it to the teacher, got my good boy points. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I was reading my book, right? And then, you know, I got to a pretty good part, but then it was all ruined because my mum and dad walked in and they were like, boy, we need to talk. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, well, what's, what's going on? And they're like, well, you know, we went onto the computer and all these adverts have been popping up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, r- Russian sex cam, whatever it was, right? So yeah, those things were popping up and I'm like, what is sex? <laughs> <laughs> and sex they just bad. they just looked at me like we're not. You idiots. try and play the foreign <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Card on your parents. <laughs> I should have added the Asian accent, but no, they d- Okay. Um so yeah, I ended up accusing um uh like their friend which was staying with us a few nights ago. <laughs> I their accused. friend or your friend? Oh, no, th- their friend. Okay. So I said, well, she was in the house as well, you know. Maybe she might have been looking at these things. <laughs> and 
she's like 50. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> they just looked at me like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so um, I didn't end up getting in huge trouble because, I mean, I was 11, like 12 or 11 at the time. And they just, uh, I got a get out of jail free card. Um, you played it. Mm-hmm. Although the computer did get a virus <laughs> and my dad had to pay like a hundred or so bucks to get it fixed. Oh, Jesus. And he was kind of upset. Um, but yeah, it didn't end there because I got another virus <laughs> on the family PC looking up the same stuff. But um, this time <laughs> I actually deleted the history, but we, I still got the viruses because, you know, I, I can't just press delete on a virus it keeps popping up. <laughs> yeah, I got scolded that time as well. But then I got my own PC, right? So, you know. Yeah, last year. No, no, laptop. I meant uh, laptop. Two years ago. No, no. It, it, it was a t- tiny one that I stepped on and <laughs> half the screen was cracked, but I still used it, you, the, you know. Three. I just dragged the window to the um, top left of the screen and I uh, watched my goodies through that. Um, yeah, it was pretty eventful. They didn't go on the laptop since I had a password on it. I mean, the password is just one, but you know. Thanks for telling us. They well. That was really crucial information for the story. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but all you guys know my passwords. Right yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Thankfully, I never actually had a family PC, so I never had to worry about the whole, <laughs> ooh. It, was, it, it, it would always be sitting there like, come look at porn on me, boy. <laughs> and you'd be like, no, I'm Just pure. <laughs> I could understand that, that, that kind of vibe you'd get from it. Well, I didn't get like, like any mobile device until I was yeah, like not 12. I, I got my first at 10, but it was a tiny little phone that couldn't connect to the internet. So yeah. I couldn't actually use that. My mates all had it, so I'd already seen it by then. But it wasn't until I was about 11 or 12 that I actually got to see <laughs> my first fucking um, <laughs> thing on my own device. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good topic though. What was What's the most like trouble you've ever gotten from your parents like i mean Mm. you didn't get in any you two didn't get in any trouble and we only got like sort of minor scoldings you got maybe a bit more but yeah what's the most you've ever like what what what, what was the most nefarious thing you've ever done to get in trouble uh so like i think once i was at the um the this was at like a Catholic school, you know, oh, they right. the yeah, they, they had like crosses around their like necks, <laughs> and I was really scared there. But um, anyway, it was recess, right? Um, I was just doing my thing, making sand balls, throwing up children's faces. Um, the teacher caught me this after he graduated. This <laughs> 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 was like two days ago. Frosty. <laughs> You guys shouldn't know about that. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, nah, I was fairly young. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I was throwing sand balls at children's faces. They started crying. I'd be like, sh- sh- shut up because I'll get in trouble. And then they went to tell the teacher. And then, you know, my name got moved from like the green zone to the red zone. And I'm like, <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Got to go to the principal's office. Oh, no. And the principal called up my mum. She's like, oh, I'm going to have a word with you when I get home. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> I know, I know what's coming. Asian mum, uh, Asian bamboo canes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Is I, that a joke? Or are you serious? No, I'm serious because <laughs> when I got home, she's like, "Oi, stand on one leg," and I'm like, "But, but, um, I suck at balancing. Can I like put my hand on the wall or something?" She's like, "No," and I'm like, "Okay, fine." So I uh stood on one leg and if she like turned around i'll just stand on two legs but uh, <laughs> i had to stand on the i had to stand on one leg for like five minutes and balancing or yeah no, balancing. You, you were getting hit by a bamboo cane oh yeah no the bamboo cane came after the five oh minutes oh i thought but, it was but while but you were balancing no no i could like stand on two feet when she was whacking me <laughs> <laughs> that that, that <laughs> came off this? that um no, th- no, like with the... <laughs> you guys. None of us are going to be able to tell any stories now. We never got like <laughs> smacked and forced to balance. Oh, no. Like, I, I didn't cry a lot because, you know, it's just it's just, it's just a little smack. You know? Okay, then, sure. But, I've, yeah. I, I've had two like sort of incidences that have, that I, you know, got in trouble for. One, like, one that really kind of 
has stuck with me for a while is like because I actually got growled at like by my like dad pretty bad mm. was um sorry growled or grounded growled okay. like so he like snarled at you. <laughs> yeah bad his face just roared and went back into the cave <laughs> but um <laughs> like I I had like Ollie over at my place and um we, we were just messing around sort of thing like we were kind of young or whatever and I, I, don't, I don't know why or like what was coming across me, but I just like immediately said, Hey, Ollie, want to play pirates? Picked up a stick and just bashed him straight <laughs> in the face. <laughs> face. Yeah, straight, like right in his oh, face. That's not as bad. Okay, Fuck. you keep going. Um, the stick was more like a plank of wood, <laughs> and the plank of wood happened to have a nail in it. Oh, oh no. Really? The nail went like right. Like next to his eye, Jeez. like towards his nose, sort of thing. He still has a scar Holy on his face crap. from it as well. Um, and the green t shirt he was wearing, he still has that as well because it's like covered in blood all down the front of it. Oh, he wow. He was bleeding a lot, yeah. But yeah, I got, you know. I can understand because, you know, you're going to have to explain that to their parents as. Yeah, like, exactly. As your parent, that's and the that's, thing. Like, yeah. That's not good. So that was that. Was that. But one, like. Something that's kind of stuck with me for a bit is at school, I was with um, like Josh and Flynn. I, I, there was maybe some other people, but there was this boat like in the sort of kindy area. I know what you're talking I know the one. Yeah, and yeah. We, we called it the Willy Boat. <laughs> <laughs> you told me this. <laughs> I don't know why we called it... Well, I mean, I do know why we called it the Willy Boat, but um, I don't know why we did any of this. <laughs> but I, I can't actually exactly remember what we were doing, but I know that we had our dicks out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But I do... Like, there, there was a girl that, like, still actually goes to our school... That, Don't name drop. But um, yeah, she came over and was like, "Oh, what are you guys doing?" We're like, "Oh, this is the Willy boat," <laughs> <laughs> and all like, all in sync, we just dropped our pants <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, turned around to look at her with our dicks out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you know, basically just screamed and ran <laughs> off. Understandably. <laughs> we were all just like, you know, pissing ourselves <laughs> laughing sort of thing. Being like, yeah, we're, we're the willy boat. We're the boys on the willy boat. <laughs> and um, yeah, so oh, it, she told the teacher and the teacher came over and <laughs> said that, you know, like, you know, gave us a big talk about, you know, not showing our dick to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I wonder why. I don't know how much further than that it went. I think she did just kind of... Did your parents tell you off or did they not know? No, I don't think my parents even know that yeah. this happened. <laughs> well, I understand why that would stick with you. Having a, a grown, you know, almost stranger tell you, don't get your dick out, please. <laughs> the opposite of what you would expect oh, a grown God. stranger. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was bloody... It's quite a memorable moment. That's, that's pretty good. I have, I think I've had an, a, a similar experience. I'm not going to name drop who I was at, but I was at yep. a friend's house, right? If you 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 might know the story, right? Uh, uh, now, to preface the story, I was a bit of an awkward kid. Like at the age of about, let's say, maybe I was five, so I was super young, um, and I had my had had a, had a good friend, right? Um, and this is the first time I've ever been over to his house. Um, and we were like, I don't know, playing with toys or, you know, whatever. Mm. Um, but there, there was sort of a lull in the, um, in the playtime. And that's why I thought, what, what can I do to liven this up? Oh, I'll show him this cool trick I've got. Um, so I look over to him and, and I said, hey, do you want to see how I get a vagina? And so I like tuck my willy in between my legs and sort of pull it down. Oh. And so I've got... <laughs> You know that little trick you can yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, tuck I'd... it in and look, <laughs> and you look look like you've got no willy. Yeah, yeah. That that's there's not much more than that. But he, <laughs> he pretty much went and go told his parents, and then my parents gave me a bit of a talking to, like, hey, <laughs> don't do <know> that. <laughs> it's a bad I've idea. Heard this story before. Yeah, are you. I'm not gonna. Say <laughs> yeah, who. okay. I've yeah. told someone about it. But <laughs> I'm not gonna say who because yeah, yeah. it's not. In. <laughs> yeah. Well. That was fun, Joseph. You you got you ever take your willy out? Alrighty, so pretty much. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, my mum decided because okay, <laughs> <laughs> probably not the best way to start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
Um, okay, so my dad and mum like don't live, haven't lived together for ages. Like they used to live in towns of like four hour drives away from each other. How old were you when they split up? Oh, oh was it about you were born? seven, seven okay. when they split? Yeah. And this was when I was about ten or eleven. And so pretty much what happened was the whole mum was going to go take all of us down to go see dad, but I didn't want to go and spend four hours in the car with my fucking shithole, shithead sisters. So I decided that I'm going to stay home, but I had to think oh. of some way to stay home, which was the only way being was for one of my friends to have me for the weekend. Problem being is my friend could only have me for one of the nights instead of both of them. Mm. So I had nowhere to sleep the second night, but I just ended up telling mum that I was able to stay there for two nights because I didn't want to go on this goddamn trip. So pretty much what happened after the first night, after we tried to bribe my mate's friend, mum, to let me stay there the night she, and say no, I went back to my house and discovered that one of my cats was inside very hungry. So my initial reaction <laughs> wait, was... Wait, no, wait, is this going where I think it's going? So my initial reaction was to... Break into the house, <laughs> like oh, <wow. laughs> uh, the door was locked. Obviously, oh yeah, no, everything was locked. My um, okay, so at the back of the house, like around the side of it, there's this where we had the clothesline. There was a small cupboard thing and a laundry window that was a good thirty centimeters long, and like I was a really small child, so it was like only ever so slightly open. So my goal was to climb up to this window, which was at the top of a house. Like it was right underneath the roof line. Was this a two-story house? Uh, no, it was a just a one, okay. but it was like okay, one yeah. of the old houses. So it was really, yeah, really, know, really tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. So once I initially got up there, I put all my might and like pulled this thing up and fell backwards and actually ended up like damaging <sighs> my head a little bit. Oh, no. And there was blood like on the... Oh, wow. but I didn't worry about that too much. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so eventually I got into the house Fed the cat, but I left the milk out on the counter. Counter, so my hungry cats destroyed the milk and left milk all over the ground oh. that I didn't notice for the past day that and a half that she was gone. So that all went. How, how long were your that. parents gone for? Oh, it was two and a half days that they were okay. gone, and I got there early the morning after. So I ended up staying the night and everything. And when they got home, they discovered that I had broken into the house. And the entire, like, left side of the house reeked of off milk because it was, like, a full three-litre carton that was just all over the fucking kitchen floor <laughs> that had been festing for two for a day and a half. When do you get your willy out? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> is this a, yeah, uh, is no. this a willy out story? No, no, story it's not a willy out story. Oh, okay. So pretty I much, thought it was going... Okay. No, so okay. pretty much what <laughs> happened... Because <laughs> it was the most trouble we've ever gotten Oh, in. that was still on that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was thinking, like, yo, my cat was really hungry. I'm <laughs> like... Yeah. Will he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, this makes more sense now. So, Thank you. Uh, pretty much, mum ended up breaking two wooden spoons over my ass, oh, and gosh. I was grounded for the entire autumn holidays. Oh, <laughs> That's fair. I mean, yeah. breaking into your own house and <laughs> spilling milk everywhere. Like, mum had a full-on sh- panic attack thinking that someone had broken in and all that. But, yeah. but you were at home, right? You were home at the time, and they would, they would have thought you were still at your friend's house. Oh, yeah, know? no, but they didn't know I was home. Like, it, mm. I was, oh, you I was fast asleep in my room. They didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. So, like, oh. was your head just left untreated? or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wasn't overly bad. It was just, like, a few drops of blood on the concrete. <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. fell was... backwards onto the concrete. That's, yeah. like, concussion. It's a bit of concern. <laughs> no, it wasn't like, I was... fell over, like, last week, and I've, I've, I've like, bruised a rib <laughs> <laughs> I mean you're a lot like heavier now than like Thanks. what he would have yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah plus I was a child I just bounced yeah, yeah, so. I understand <laughs> but yeah no, that was that was the worst yeah no that's scolding I've ever had i say that's had. almost topping it yeah yeah yeah, I mean, two wooden spoons. I, I, I vividly remember <laughs> breaking into the house well, and That's a waste crying. of two spoons. Yeah, so. no, my mum's got a hard hit. <laughs> but Do- uh, Dob, yep. Bob, you had to stand on one leg and <laughs> yeah, get beaten with, bamboo. Like, <laughs> with a cane. Yeah, but your mum wasn't Asian. <laughs> I remember a common punishment for me. It would happen if it was raining. I'd have to go out and stand in the rain, usually at like night or something, for like 10 minutes oh. or something. Yeah. That would be That would be shit. That one. Yeah. That that was that was my comment. Oh, when mum was moving at some point, we had to actually stay with some family fr- family friends. Quotation. No, marks. the quotation marks are scary. Please, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Um, please, please these that these more. people were like those those those, <laughs> those terrible friends. step parents. No one wants. That's what these people so were abu- like. To us. Abusive or am I? They were really abusive. They were like really to abusive. You? And not to me, but to my little sisters uh-huh. mainly. But like whenever they oh, acted okay. up, what they would do is they would go like sit, make them sit in the fucking pool. 
Like this was on like this was blistering winters, by the way, and sit there and hose them down. <laughs> hose them down yeah. like a prison. Like, like they, they made like them stand in this in pool, the pool and they would oh, sit there so and they would hose shit. them for yeah, a that's... good twenty minutes before letting them back inside to cool off. And they wouldn't get a towel. They wouldn't get. They'd have to drip dry. So sorry, they were sitting in a pool. Yeah. yeah no, they were standing in the pool. Stand- oh, so there was no water in the pool. No. Or... Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, other than what fell off them into the pool because okay, of the then. hose. And every now and then, if they got bored or started crying too loudly, they would just, like, throw a bottle of water at them or something. They were, like, they were really bad, like... Fun. Yeah, okay, the quotation marks, I guess, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, when I was being a little bad boy, I, I mean, I'd just get, like, just beaten on my ass with a belt or, like, a hand pretty hard, usually. I guess I had the most... Just like a... Whoosh. Either I wasn't a bad boy or I just had the most loose parents. I, I, just, I like, think it's the loose I, parents. Yeah, I would just get like, they would be like, go sit on a chair. The, the thing is, I didn't chair. really get I, like slapped often yeah. ever. Like, I only, like, I only got sat onto the timeout chair. I only had the timeout chair from like pre, you know, yeah, like yeah. seven years old. I only went on the chair once and that's when I sat on there on my own will. Because mm. I thought I'd been a naughty boy. That's, <laughs> <much trouble>. yes. <laughs> yeah. that's the only time I, <laughs> like I said before, sad. I'm a... I don't mm. like getting in trouble. Yeah. 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 But yeah, see, the, the time with the wooden spoons for me was the only time I'd ever actually been hit, but my sisters were consistently being hit because they were actual nightmares <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> Good choice of words. Like, I saw you, like, <laughs> rambling yeah. through your head trying yeah. to think of it. <laughs> yeah, nightmares. That, that, yeah. Uh, I mean, th- uh, is it just me or, like, our grandmother's really nice? Because... I mean, I, I don't know they'll, about your... They'll never your get mad at you. Gra- I would... Yeah, I know, no, because there was this one instance, right? I was like four at the time, but we had this Buddhist um, shrine outside our house. <laughs> and, you know, the, there were these little statues inside. And I'm like, ooh, those look like some pretty good toys. So, <laughs> you know, I, um, I took them out. Me. I took them out of the shrine ate the food that was there because I was hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never done that to my grandparents. Yeah, I was I was putting the toys, lining them up, getting the hose gun out, <laughs> shooting the, uh, <laughs> the, the clay statues down. Um, then my grandma came home and she's like, oh, you, it's you silly boy. <laughs> That's it. She never hit me. She's just like, you and shouldn't I do why that. I wonder you've had such bad luck for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I think something similar happened like uh-huh. when I was over this probably was only like two or three years ago. I was thinking like it was actually my brother knocked over one of their four t- no four thousand dollar lamps. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> one of their yeah, antique sort of lamps oh, wow. and shattered the glass part around it. So not the actual. Oh the lamp was made of like brass or gold yeah, or some yeah. shit. Yeah. But yeah, and um, yeah. He <laughs> got in trouble. Don't don't do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was all. I don't know something like. I don't that. know. Um, one time yeah. I got really annoyed with one of my sisters and I like mum I don't know why mum thought it was a good idea to keep this giant antique like $1,200 vase on the top of the fucking fridge and I as I got really pissed off and I, like they, they really annoyed me whilst I was looking in the fridge for something to eat and I just slammed the door this thing came down and smashed on the floor oh, and I kind of oh, just I like I was going to hit one of them no, mum, mum, <laughs> mum came running in like when she saw what happened I, oh, that was probably the second worst time I've ever been like the second worst <laughs> I've ever been yelled at Mm. But yeah, I, I felt terrible after that. Like, <laughs> I'd closed fridge doors really carefully ever since yeah. that day. <laughs> like, I'm just afraid I'm going to knock something off that's going to be worth yeah. heaps. I, I so. don't think there's anything I've ever really broken. broken. Like, maybe there is that I, like, can't really think. think. Yeah. Like, I know, like, because, like, my dad does, like, art or whatever and stuff. I've, like, kind mm. of always been around that sort of thing, but it's, like... Were you always cautious that you never accidentally broke something at one of those know. ones? Like, I don't think I have broken any of them. Mm. And if I have, I don't remember. Like it I couldn't have been didn't. too significant. I mean, like yeah. last time I was at Seven's old house, I almost knocked this thing over. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. was that like white, like yeah, huge the white th- yeah. thing. It was so wobbly. That was I w- that was scary to watch everyone walk past that. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, please, please don't break that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, so, so Bob, have you ever nearly died before? Have I nearly died seven? Well, uh, I can think of one. The, the, the closest experience you've had to death. Uh, that is, at least. The closest experience. I mean, like, I can think of some yeah. exaggerated ones, but there was this one 
like an experience, right? So I was in Bali with with my parents and I had this ch- Chinese friend along um, that, that I knew at the time and I was like seven or seven? Yeah, I was seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was just learning how to swim and my Chinese friend was like 10, right? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I had floats on. And I'm like, yeah. check this out. I can do cool swimming tricks, breaststroke, freestyle, and um, and then he was just staying in like a shallow end. And uh, the pool we were swimming at, right, it had this ledge that that just dropped like two meters. Yeah. And it's if you're not looking at the floor, right, it's it's a pretty sudden drop. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I was at the deep end. He was at the shallow end. Okay, um, so flexing I, on him pretty hard there. Yeah, I, I floated, <laughs> <laughs> I floated towards a deep friend, and uh, he just came towards me, um, right, and he fell, and he didn't know how to swim. Uh, like so, so up, up until then, you were like walking, and then yeah, it's just the drop got you. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, so he was like trying to try, trying to find something to grab onto, and I came to him to help him, right. He grabbed me <laughs> and he's like, Oi, can I use you as a flo- floating device? Thanks, bro. And he just pushed yeah. me underwater because I had the floats on and he was trying to... Um, he's trying to kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like attempted murder, Cody. But no, he was just trying to stay afloat. And I'm like, yeah, you know, can't really breathe. I can't tell him to stop <laughs> because I'm underwater and I'm not an idiot. I know you can't talk underwater. <laughs> so I, I'm like, wait, mate, just tap, tap. And, you know, he kept struggling and then eventually I started to struggle because, you know, my oxygen was running out. Uh, eventually my <laughs> mum had to, like, come in and rescue me. But, yeah, I was puffing and it did was the, very scary. Yeah, did the kid even make an attempt because if he dro- just dropped off from the drop you'd assume he could just like oh do one no no he was panicking over. and like yeah, okay, yeah it's we were like w- one foot away from the ledge and he couldn't even but nah i, I think he said sorry i, I don't know i just <laughs> i didn't really think <laughs> too much about sure. it and, uh, yeah. yeah okay then that's cool i know I've got an answer to that question, but it go, it's a story that goes on for a bit of a while, so I'd like you to yeah, we'll go first. Uh, uh, I've kind of got one. It's I'll not sort of lead us to the end of the episode with that one, actually. Yeah. It's, it's not really, um like, too close to death, but I'd say it's probably one of my worst, worst injuries, I guess. No, that's fine. the term. And um, pretty much, you know those teachers... Whenever you're rocking <laughs> in your chair and they're always like, yeah, ooh, yeah. if you slip back, you're going to split your head open. Uh, yes, the yeah. ones that are looking out for your health and safety. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I hate them. You <laughs> see, when I was in woodwork one day, I was slightly rocking on my chair and one of my mates thought it would be a fucking piss funny idea to like kind of just kick it out from under my feet. <laughs> in, the room, in, in the woodwork room. In the woodwork room. Shit. No, it was in the... um, It was in the... Uh, what, what's it called? Hmm. The... Yeah, the room where you do actual written work instead oh, of actual yeah. woodwork. Not the, okay. the problem is that all the benches were sharp jarrow wood. Like mm. really, like the edges yeah. were just like, yeah, yeah, real sharp. And as they've kicked me out from under it, my head's gone back and smacked right in the edge of this thing. And I've kind of just fallen oh. forward and knocked, got knocked out for a few seconds. And as I woke up, I was sort of like lumped up and like touched the back of my head to see if it was. I saw a few drops of blood. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, my you head's see, bleeding. The, the back of your head seems to be a bit of a um, <laughs> punching bag. For these yeah, it rather, it really is. <laughs> and if one of my friends ran up to me and looked at it and was like, no, it's not. And then just a couple of seconds later, there's blood gushing all <laughs> over me. <laughs> like, I was covered in the stuff. Was, it was the just, teacher around? Did yeah, you no, the teacher. Hey, teacher, no, I'm the sort teacher of dying. freaked out. Oh, like, okay. And then, like, yeah. In the end, pretty much I got pulled out of the classroom by the nurse and everyone was, like, all worried and stuff. And when the nurse was sitting there asking me consistently, like, oh, are you okay? You're feeling dizzy or anything? I'm saying, like, no, no, I'm fine. My only question is, was there any blood on the carpets? Reason being is because I knew my family couldn't afford to repay for, like, get the carpets replaced because <laughs> there's a little bit of blood on them. So it was the only thing I was really stressed about during the time. But, yeah, no, I split my head open, had to get five stitches in the back of my head. Okay. Ooh, that was, that was yeah, great that's, fun. That's, I've, uh, <laughs> I've had, like 
to experience that I would consider very close to death. And both of them were in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like the first time, like this was, a, uh, this was one of my first times going to Bali and like I was, we were trying to go from like one place to another and like my dad's like, all right, you know what? Let's not go on a regular road. We're going to go, <laughs> we're going to go crazy. We're going to find some random road. Like, cause there was this one road, like we're looking at the map. Oh, and it was like, yeah. you know, perfectly like a good sort of road. Yeah. And then dad's like, well, what's this line here? It goes <laughs> straight through. And like, like I'm like, dad, that's not a road. That's like a, that's like a pathway. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, no, no, it's a road. It's a road. <laughs> so we get to this turn off and like, yeah, sure enough, there's some sort of bitumen there. Like it looks like a road and we're going for, for bloody ages. Like we're going along this road for, yeah, ages and ages. And we get to this hill and it literally reaches to the clouds. Like it's, it's huge. You didn't see it driving up to it? Well, I, it was lots of forest and Got stuff him. in okay. Bali. Like yeah. it was, yeah, no, like, we fair. were encapsulated that's in fair. just, yep. yeah, forest. So we get up to it and we're like, huh, well, we're kind of too far to turn around and just go back. Oh, like God. we're not going to, we're not going to make it to the next like sort of village place or whatever over sort of thing. So we start like driving up and this is an almost vertical road. We're going in this crappy rental car that's like barely making its way up. And then at the top of this road, there's a hairpin turn that goes up and then vertical again. And then another hairpin turn that goes up and vertical again, pretty much. And we're like, you know, like three, four of these turns up. And on each side of the hairpin, there started to become cliffs. So we would drive up and the road like also became worse and worse the further and further we went up because it was like... They never expected anyone to get that far. They (laughs) never expected people to get that far, but like, you know, no one would be able to go up there to repair the roads or anything. So we get up there and the car like kept sliding back down, like down these hills and like almost going near the edge and stuff. Mm. I actually had my like video camera that I was like, you know, videoing everything about Bali and and I was like recording (laughs) my fucking death message thinking (laughs) I am going to die. Do you have this this video? I do have the video. I really want to see this. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to put it at the end of the video or something. Uh, Yeah, I'll try and see if I can grab it. it I know that my dad has it. So yeah, I'll ask him for it or something. But yeah, I was like saying, yeah, I love you, everyone. Uh, you know, I'm so you know, sorry. I would have been terrified. And yeah, I, I, dead set. I thought I was dead. That's I thought my life was over. And so we get up. There's only like a few more bits left, but the car kept sliding, and we couldn't get up. And this guy on a scooter comes past, and he's like, "Hey, how's it going?" <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, "This is." fucked like i'm gonna die what is going on dad hops out of the car and starts talking indonesian like because he's you know he learned it for a bit he's pretty uh, pretty okay yeah. at it and so like dad and this guy were talking and like i just didn't know what was going on i was like oh, okay well, this is this is crazy and then uh the guy just goes yeah 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 okay okay he jumps into our car into the driver's seat <laughs> And starts driving up this fucking road. <laughs> and he's like hitting the potholes like perfectly. It's oh. bouncing him up the road. Oh, and he's like amazing. bouncing around and driving up. And we got to the top. And yeah, dad's like gotten on this guy's scooter and ridden that up there. Yeah. And yeah, right at the top, there was like a little store so made out of you bamboo. and this stranger. Oh, well, no, like me, um, my dad's girlfriend and oh, like okay, my okay. stepbrother yeah, and sister yeah. okay. were wow. in the car as well. But yeah, like it was... The scariest thing I've yeah. ever experienced. I would have but started yeah. screaming as soon as he tried oh, to go up the hill. I, I, was, I just like looked at Dad. I was like, "What?" And he's like, "It's okay. It's okay. Like you'll be fine. You'll be fine." <laughs> but yeah, right at the top of this mountain thing, there was like a tiny little store that was selling like iced tea, and <laughs> <laughs> they were selling iced it. tea only for the worthy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it was like that. But it was like two cents a bottle, and Dad's like, "Look here, just his ten, his ten bucks." Like, you know, and this like this woman and this guy like that. You know, the guy like also was there or whatever. Was the scooter guy part yeah. of the shop or? Yeah, I think he was okay. a part of the yeah. shop. But he gave him like five bucks each or whatever. And they kind of just like stared like, what the, f- yeah. like, what the hell just happened sort of thing. Like <laughs> they were blown away. But like, you know, yeah, but oh, 
yeah, that was that was scary as hell. The second time I nearly died. Oh, this God. is a lot shorter sort of story. Okay. Then. But um, yeah, like I was like swimming around and stuff, and I had like my snorkeling gear on and that, and there was these like little fish that were kind of swimming around near me or whatever. And I'd like, like lift over rocks and there'd be little crabs and they would come under and like grab all these crabs and stuff. And I lifted up this one rock and pulled it out. And there's a stone fish that's like staring oh. me like oh. dead in the, f- dead in the eyes. Yeah. And if my hand had been like almost a centimeter further under this rock, it would have just, I would have like grabbed this stone fish basically. Mm. And yeah, so I was like staring at it and I was just like, huh, all right, cool. And like kind of trying to swim back slowly as this thing's just like, <laughs> yeah, just death staring oh, me. Fuck. That was also terrifying, especially oh, like being in a foreign country where I don't imagine that I could have gotten. Bali. Yeah, that was also in Bali. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't imagine I would have gotten very good sort of medical attention there either. Yeah, <laughs> especially for something that deadly. It was, yeah, and it was in like a really small sort of fishing town where there was yeah. nobody. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Cody, your that, story. Before I go on to the big story, which will probably lead us to the conclusion, I want to actually say um, that reminds me of one time I was swimming actually close here in like Perth or Bumble yep. or something. Um, swimming out, we went out like me and my dad went out so much swimming way deep, like hundreds of meters past the coast. Like mm. you're not meant to go out that far, sort mm. of thing. Yeah, we, we swam, blah blah blah, and then we. Pretty much uneventful. So went went back, went back to the hotel or something. Then we see on the news like it was like twenty minutes after we left, there were sharks oh. in that area or something. Oh, and that, geez. looking back, that was probably the most close to death. But it's not as good as a story as the one I'm about to tell. Hold up, <laughs> it's a bit of a longer story. So if you want to speak quickly, I'll let you go. So they're talking about the whole deadly sea creature thing. One time I was fishing in one of my old places I used to live. And my little sister decided to go down to the little rock pools on the shore with a little one of those little green, like, tank fish nets. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And this genius saw a little octopus, a little golden octopus, and she thought, oh. this is a great idea. So she oh. picked it up, came running up this 200-meter-long jetty with the octopus crawling towards her hand, not realizing it's a blue ring, sprinting oh at me God. with this little fish net thing as this octopus is crawling towards her. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Because like, And it just caught me off guard so much. I pretty much just slapped the thing out of her hands into the water and like went back in to go grab the net. But like... Oh. I don't yeah, think yeah, she's ever been, been so close to death ever, yeah. other than almost having a blue ring octopus bite her fucking hand. So yeah, that's that's great fun. Anyway, go on, Cody. Yeah, talk about your lovely story. So um, I've I've told quite a few guys this story before, and it's looking back, it's probably not the most deadly, but I think it makes a dang <laughs> good story. Um, so this is the story of how I'm going to put it: the closest experience I've had to death. Um which is also the time me, Seven, and Josh, who you see in a later video, became friends. So it's a pretty wild ride. So as I said, I think earlier sometime in the episode, I was was sort of an awkward kid. I didn't have like a lot of friends. I had, you know, the one friend I showed my mangina to (laughs) and and like Reese. And that, that was about it. That's all I pretty much, I didn't talk to anyone until I like for... Kindy and pre-primary So four and five years old I didn't talk to anyone I just like played Crash Bandicoot And reenacted Crash Bandicoot And Ben 10 on the f- Fucking playground That that was me I was that sort of kid um, But then came Come grade one I sort of You know Became friends with Those two people And that's who, the only people I would really talk to For the next Three years let's say About three years So Okay So we arrive in Grade three let me preface this with: I didn't really have anyone that I didn't talk. I didn't talk to anyone, but I didn't really hate anyone either. N- no one I had really ill feelings towards, except for one girl. I'm not gonna name drop. So, Bob, chuck me a name. I'm um, Stephanie. So let's say Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> now Stephanie was an upright bitch. Okay. I did not like <laughs> Stephanie at all. I can't remember why, but I think like Stephanie, like I, I was really into my sc- schoolwork at that age because I was that kind of kid. And I think Stephanie beat me in a spelling test or something. And I'm like, Stephanie, you bitch. <laughs> um, so anyway, I hated... That was not back in like year one or something. And I hated Stephanie for the next two years <laughs> coming up to it. So year three, um, eight years old. Right, still only had my friend and Reese. And that, that's it. I was the awkward kid still. Um, now, in class one day, 
I was doing my work like a good boy, right? And Stephanie says something. I can't remember what Stephanie says. I really wish I could. But Stephanie says something and that that, that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. <laughs> I, I had had it up to metaphorically this height, <laughs> which is quite high. I was up to there with Stephanie's shit. I, would, I, I couldn't take it anymore. So I stood up, pointed, looked at Stephanie and said... I declare war. <laughs> in the in classroom, uh, in the middle of the class, um, to Stephanie. And I, I wasn't joking about. So probably a bit foolishly of me, Stephanie was more of a popular person. Um, so she had more <laughs> friends than the two scrawny people and like me. It was also the three scrawny people at that age. So... How the there, there was there was rules to this war as any war works. So how it worked was f- every recess and lunchtime, um, from as from the one when the war started, we'd pretty much go into separate into two groups, um, me Reese and my other friend, and uh, literally everyone else in the year <laughs> on <laughs> Stephanie's side, and the goal was to um yeah. So <laughs> what would happen is at the beginning of every recess at lunch, we'd the teachers would make you sit in sort of this the, co- the common area sort of thing and eat your lunch. But as soon as the bell goes, the little ding, 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 you'd sound. We'd all split off into our groups. And it's, 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 considering it was a rural um, sort of school, the playground was quite large but quite scarce, not a lot of kids. So there was lots of place to hide. So me, Reese, and my other friend, we came out with our hideout to be on this tree, sort of on the outskirts, on the far think south side of the school near one of the um junior kid playground areas and we'd climb that tree sit in it and discuss on you know stephanie's a bitch right guys yeah stephanie's a bitch (laughs) um um and everyone else would go off into their hideout i had no idea what it was i wasn't a you know i didn't have x-ray vision (laughs) and so and every so every single recess and lunch for the next i'm going to say two terms long maybe one term i don't know the exact time we'd split off into these groups, right? Occasionally, they'd send out scouts trying to find their location, but we were scrawny kids. We hid well in that tree. <laughs> um, and, you know, we do scouting, which was just like all three of us go out, going around, walking around, and we'd run into um, some of the other people and they'd try and fight us or something. I don't quite know. <laughs> we, we were slippery kids, evaded them. And so this sort of goes on this sort of non-eventful, you know, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you, Stephanie. You know, you, yep, yep, you are. <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing. Nothing. Looking back, nothing was really going to happen at that point. But um, then came one fateful day. Um, Reese and my other friend weren't at school. <laughs> oh no! I've got no. I've got no one. Not, no one to scheme with. Uh, uh, Stephanie shall not reach her demise today. I was thinking to myself. Um, so it comes around recess, right? I'm sitting there on my own. Everyone else is, you know, on on, on the other <laughs> side of the common room eating their lunch. <laughs> Um, but that's when two people walk up to me. Not my friends, you see. These were enemies. These <laughs> people were Seven and Josh. <laughs> so Seven and Josh sit on either side of me, quite intimidatingly, actually. And they said, hi, we've decided to um, swap teams. We want to fight for you because, you know, Stephanie's a bitch, right? Yeah, Stephanie's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm thinking nothing of it. I was sort of naive. I thought, okay, cool. Uh, some new recruits that's going to especially help me out today when I when you know my other soldiers weren't present so i was sitting with them um you know talking trying to um be as charismatic as i possibly could obviously i was the most charismatic fellow around <laughs> you know i had two friends i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um we essentially got to the point where i was actually somehow making them laugh i don't know what i was saying but they ended up thinking, oh, this guy is pretty cool. If you couldn't work out from the story, these people, Seven and Josh, were not, you know, switching sides. They were um, planning to find my location through the own, through means that would actually work rather than just patrolling around the school doing nothing. They tried to befriend me. Well, get, get on and stab my back, that is. But I actually managed, believe it or not, to out-charisma Stephanie and Ooh. win over Josh and Seven. Now, the original plan was quite simple on their end. What they were going to do, take me into my headquarters, find it, and they were going to win the war there. They had packed all their firearms, by which I mean they had packed butter knives. (laughs) (laughs) Their intention, whether or not this would have won, 
was to go to my hideout and stab me <laughs> with a butter knife, <laughs> killing me. <laughs> and it was only on that small, about five minute break where everyone's eating their food that I managed to charisma over and actually secure two more soldiers mm. to fight for my cause <laughs> against Stephanie. And the war was concluded by Stephanie moving away to another school. Oh. And, you know, every, everything went back to normal and I had gained two lifelong friends. So that's essentially my story. <laughs> Getting pretty close to the... Um, Ending to of the, the end. episode. Yeah, we'll probably just end here. So, um, Bob, why don't you take us away? Take us out. <laughs> oh, right. So, uh, guys, that... Uh, let me just put my bolt down. That concludes uh, this first episode of um, the podcast. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been cool talking about our past and our experiences and all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> signing out, again. guys. We don't know what schedule we're going oh, to upload psh, yeah. yet. We're but make sure it. you, um, if we can, um, you know, advertise a little bit here, make sure you check out our main channel, Biohamster, for all our short films. Um, we also have, obviously, our other YouTube channel, Hamster Cage, where you can find the Hamster Feed podcast and all other uh, bloopers and anything that doesn't fit on the main channel. If you want to see the podcast early, we also have um, a SoundCloud account to see all our podcasts maybe a day or two earlier than the other uploads. Haven't quite worked out the schedules yet. Um, so on that note, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Sub to buy hamster. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Oh, no, no. That's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, no. You guys, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, no. You gotta do it to me. Okay. I love you guys, Mum and Mum. Oh, my God. Mum, Nanny. Everyone.